The structure you see behind me belongs to a retired Helena K-9 police officer and his family. The fire damage not only destroyed their belongings, but also took the lives of two of their family dogs. They just remember opening the door and just being engulfed in blackness. I mean, it was so, it's just like walking into a room with all the lights off. You can't see anything. It was, yeah, you can't even describe it. Retired Helena canine officer Gary Herbst and his wife Connie live in the home on Three Mile Road with their granddaughter and her mother. I actually grew up here. I've been here for about 30 years now. My kids grew up here. My grandkids grew up here. On the morning of Friday, July 19th, Connie Herbst said she was watering her garden when her eight-year-old granddaughter yelled for her, saying that there were flames coming from the home. I thought about my dogs immediately. First thing that came to my mind with it was that they were in there. Connie says it was an electrical fire that started in her granddaughter's room. After trying to get into the home to save the two German shepherds, Libby and Bryant, Connie went down the road to her parents' home since her phone and keys were in the burning house. From there, she called 911 at 10.15 a.m. Since Gary used to work for the police force, dispatch called him while he was at his current job with the Department of Justice. Dispatch called, they said, you know, everybody was out of the house. Uh, they told me there was still dogs in there and that that killed me, you know, and then driving home and listening to, to everything going on on my work radio, you know, in my work car, you know, and I heard the, I heard him say the house was fully engulfed, two vehicles were fully engulfed. I'm like, I'm thinking crap. And then I hear there's still dogs trapped in the house and I just start screaming at the car. Yeah. The Herpses say that there were over five fire departments that responded, with the first one showing up roughly 15 minutes after the initial call was made. Libby and Brian's remains were found and taken to the Humane Society to be cremated and returned to the Herbst family. Libby was about seven and Bryant was about nine months. Libby was so sweet, we called her um, kissy face because she just loved, she just loved affection and she just loved looking all over your face like a wild animal and, and Bryant, God, what a little nightmare. <laughs> but just so sweet and endearing and just out of all the stuff that we lost in that house, those two were by far the most important. The Herbst family is currently living in their garage and they are trying to get their water and energy back on. After the fire, they learned that none of their personal items in the home were covered by insurance. We got a few photo albums, but other than that, pretty much everything is, yeah. everything, everything in the house is, is gone. I mean, it's, it's total, total destruction in there. The Herbst family is planning to tear down and rebuild the home after they speak with an insurance adjuster. In Helena, I'm Allie Kaiser. MTN News.